Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday, the 9th of October 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. Okay, my wonderful friends, I'll just try and pull my chair a bit closer <laughs> and give us a bit more space. There we go. Okay, well, let's see what fabulous message Spirit has for us for the end of the week. Okay, here we go. Thank you. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> no hanging around. Love it. Okay. Your first card, Major Arcana, zero, the fool. Followed by the eight of cups. And finishing with Major Arcana, number 17, The Star. What a lovely set of cards to end the week with, my friends. And um, it, it's just more of the message we've received all week is this new beginning, this new start. Um, and we start our reading um, with Major Arcana, zero, The Fool. Definitely uh, representing a new start. This is you. Um, actually, Ruby's just shown me the trust card. Um, so this is you having trust and faith in the plan, um, in your divine destiny. Um, and you're just going to take a backflip and let it go <laughs> and just... Well, backflip into it, I'm, I'm hearing. Um, I love this illustration. Um, I love that she's got a crystal in her hand. And really, I really feel that crystals at the moment, you know, if you've got some, um, be working with them. Is uh, I'm really hearing that at the moment. And that's exactly what I'm doing too. Um, but here you are about to kind of just let it all go. You know that if you allow yourself to fall, um, that actually... Um, nothing bad is going to happen um, here you're just going to fall back into this flower of life uh, your plan your journey your destiny um, and you're just going to let the divine catch you uh, take you on your journey um, I'm really looking at your yellow uh, dress um, clarity uh, the word is coming to me clarity um, energy um, it, it's solar plexus energy it's optimism it's positivity um, it's courage um, and I, I'm really hearing the word again freshness um, it's a fresh a brand new fresh start uh, in the offing for you um, you've just got to go with it I'm hearing from spirit uh, trust your inner being uh, trust the divine trust the messages that you are receiving I am hearing um, go for it again it's another big go for it message um, it's almost like what are you waiting for um, and now I'm just oh, this is kind of one of those um, team building exercises I'm, I'm being shown where um, there's you um, and someone else and uh, you allow yourself just to fall back trusting that the other people or the other person is going to catch you um, that's the image I'm being presented with um, and so that is what uh, the message is my friends just let it go go for it um, spirit is going to catch you um, and you will take flight and soar I am hearing oh <laughs> Next, we have the Eight of Cups, uh, the wonderful number eight, uh, abundance, manifestation, harvest, believing in yourself. Um, with this Eight of Cups, um, your cup here, it's uh, represented as a singing bowl. 
Um, and here it, the, it, there's a little fire inside. Um, that's the old you. That's the old you and the old way of being. This is the death card that we had uh, yesterday. Uh, you leaving an old life and heading towards a wonderful new life. And again, uh, I feel this is the sun rising. This is the dawn of a new day. Uh, and the Eight of Cups, it is about... Uh, leaving a situation um, usually because uh, you, you would see eight cups and they're all full and in the upright so there was no more fulfillment to be found in that situation um, so you're off uh, looking towards new horizons uh, and now I, I want to do this because just look at the correlation here uh, between these two cards um, wow <laughs> it's happening it's happening, my friends. Uh, your new beginning, the promise of a brand new start, a new beginning for you from spirit, because you are leaving your old life, your old way of being, your old belief structures, the old way that you did things. Oh, wow. <laughs> and next we have Major Arcana, 17 the star major arcana as they speak of your inner knowing your major inner knowledge um and you really are now connected and look at this wonderful thread here between you and the cosmos the universe this is you connecting to the divine the heavenly realm um and i love this card the star because i know it's um it's renewed hope um it's peace. There's a peace that's come over you. I felt it earlier in a reading in the week, didn't I? There's this peace, this calm, this tranquility that is around you now. You've healed yourselves. You have healed yourselves from within uh, and it is now a for, a, allowing you to make changes um, on the outside. Also, the star card, it's inspiration. You can feel inspiration filling you up. You feel the wonder I am hearing of ins inspiration. Um, trusting your intuition, trusting in your inner wisdom. Um, creative flow, creative expression, I am hearing. And of course, the star grants your wishes. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. So you know now that it is your connection with the divine and your belief structures that are affecting what happens in your physical reality. So look at you um, bathing in this wonderful crown chakra colour, um, knowing that this is your connection with the divine. And now I'm being inspired to do this. And point out this dawn of a new day, new horizons for you, lifting your eyes to new horizons. Because look where you are looking. You are looking up, not out and around you, but up. Because knowing that is where the power is coming from and knowing that all of your power is in the moment. It's not in the past. What has been well, sorry, what has been done is gone. It's You cannot change that. It's gone. Um, so the only thing that is in uh, your hands because your future, well, it's changeable. You can always change your mind. So it's in the here and now uh, and it's in your belief. So um, believe in yourselves is the message I am hearing and believe in the divine plan. Oh, it keeps coming up, friends. Trust and belief. OK, Lightworker Oracle by Alana Fairchild. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Friday, the 9th of October 2020? What do my wonderful friends need to know? Thank you. Okay, let's lower the camera and your Lightworker Oracle card is whoop, 
31 alchemical mutation <laughs> I'm being guided to do this look my friends oh let your inner self just go and trust in that divine plan I am hearing uh, three and one adding up to the wonderful number four so again you are really shoring up your foundation my friends and you're doing it because you're putting in the inner work oh wow 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 security structure okay stability <laughs> okay 31 alchemical mutation your spiritual growth is changing your mind body and soul it's very real and it's helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. The body changes as light enters. Alchemy is catalyzed and transformation happens. Sometimes the appearance of the body changes. There will be change in how the body feels, responds, acts and creates. Radiance increases. Lightness of being increases. If you have clairvoyant vision, you will see the increase in light as though the person is actually lit up from within. And I'll let you know that they are. Spiritual abilities become grounded in the body and the person can channel healing energy just as naturally as they would set the dinner table. The spirit becomes a living reality in the body and the material world is experienced as an extension of the divine light. This alchemy is an empowering gift of love. Symptoms of this process can sometimes be challenging. They may include headaches, other aches and pains, flu-like symptoms, inexplicable and nearly overwhelming fatigue that lasts for days and then suddenly vanishes along with a surge of new energy. We may also experience pinging in the ears, increased sensitivity to light or sound, hormonal imbalance and hot flushes, excessive energy, mental obsessions or mood swings, aggression and unintentionally harsh reactions to people. If you have been experiencing any of the above and wondered if these or other unusual symptoms could be as a direct result of increased spiritual energy affecting the body, then the answer is that it is very likely and you are encouraged to source whatever professional health support you need to take care of your body, but also consider using the simple practices to ease away the side effects of divine alchemy taking place in you. These simple practices include regular rest, additional sleep is a powerful way for the body and mind to heal and repair, integrate and reorganise. So allow time for physical exercise which can help release excess energy, especially if you tend to feel mentally congested. Take some work, instead simply be in rest or in nature or work with colours and take a short break for a time. And having regular occasions of time off will help you recover quickly and suffer less okay my friends i'm just gonna have to pop you on pause for a moment i do apologize so sorry about that friends i was called away so right let's get right back into it okay so there's an alchemical mutation taking place i do see you going for gold my friends um and i do see that this, again the sky is the limit um OK, well, let's get on to the next deck, which is the Starseed Oracle, Rebecca Campbell. OK. <clears throat> what is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? For Friday, the 9th of October. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Your Starseed Oracle card is... Ooh, the void. Stop. Embrace winter. The great cosmic womb. Ooh, interesting. Okay, the void. If I can find 
find it. MST. There we go. Everything and nothing exists in the void. It's where all life begins and ends. It's the winter and the womb, the fertile darkness where all things originate and all seeds grow. Comforting and intimidating, freeing and daunting, it can feel both overwhelmingly small and huge. The void is where faith lives. The message of the void is to surrender to the unknown, to allow the fertile darkness of nothingness to nourish the new seeds growing within you. Regardless of whether you know what they'll one day become, you're being called to surrender to the mystery of what's next, to rest and to allow the winter of your life to do the work for you to hand over your control and trust that just because you can't see what's happening beneath the surface, it doesn't mean things aren't at work. The greatest weavings, oh weaving, we've been doing a lot of weaving haven't we? The greatest weavings happen when we find a way to surrender and trust that our life is being knitted, wow, um, for us right beneath the surface. It's in ways known and unknowable. Now is the time to cultivate faith and allow deep, deep rest. The void often surfaces at the end of a chapter or life phase when we're called to let go of all that we know and identify with. When you're in the void, it can feel scary and as if you shouldn't be doing something. However, when this card appears, it's a sure sign that the most productive thing to do is relinquish control and surrender to the changing mystery of your life. Your starseed soul enquiry is, how are you being called to surrender to the unknown mystery of life? Wow, wow, wow. What a perfect card. Another perfect message unfolding for us, my friends. Wow, indeed. Okay, well here we go. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit? Thank you, Ruby. I believe that that is the one she is pointing out to me. Or we'll just bring our crystal back into focus. OK. Your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So for those of you that have followed me for a while, know the... Um, the meaning that I have behind this card and for those of you that are new um, I will just quickly tell you uh, when I first started this channel um, and about three weeks in I kind of had a little wobble <laughs> as you do um, and I, I was asking the cards and I was getting the same repeating cards um, and from the unicorn um, deck I kept getting this one and I couldn't kind of I couldn't correlate really the meaning to it until I watched another um, another channel, uh, Kai Pasha, uh, who always does a, a mantra at the end of his um, video. And in this particular uh, time that I watched it said, when I really look at it, all life is but a chance. And if I never face my fear... I will never learn to dance. So I'll just have to share that with you, my friends. So straight away I'm drawn. Full moon energy. All of those stars in the sky. So thank you, Ruby, for giving us this card and coming underneath the star card. Uh, you are the star of your own show, Ruby is actually saying. And um, look at the spark, your divine spark. Um, pointing straight up now to to the cosmos so um, really letting you know that although you probably can't see that thread with your physical eyes Ruby is saying no it is there my friends 
move your body to music, dance with the rhythm of life and manifest your dreams through dance. So she's encouraging you, raise your vibration, whether it's through music and movement, um, but definitely she's, she's really inspiring you to move your body. Ruby was never still. Ruby's feet, oh, she couldn't walk anywhere. Um, and a lot, most of the time her feet were not on the floor, my friend. So I, I really feel that she wants to fill you with all that rubiness and all of that enthusiasm for life. Oh, yes. <laughs> OK, well, let's see what the message is. And Ruby says... Dancing will help you shake off any stuck energy that may be blocking a manifestation and help you speed up the delivery of your desires. That's the eight of wands, my friends, from yesterday. Movement and music open your chakras, get your energy flowing and unleash the feel-good endorphins that help you align with more abundance. Dancing can be used to shift you from doubt worry, fear or anger into optimism, excitement and gratitude. Put on music to match the energy you need to shift and let your body guide the dance to find release. Let go of any need to dance well and find freedom in moving without inhibition. And when you have shifted into a higher space, put on uplifting music and bring in your dreams with dance. Imagine yourself living the life that you really want. Then call it in with your body. Beam powerful intentions out into the universe while you are in this high energy state and let them be carried on the waves of joy radiating out from you. Make dancing a daily manifesting practice and you will soon enjoy the physical and energetic benefits that come with feeling good. This joyful unicorn tells you that your body wants to move and flow with music and now is the time to honour that desire. Helping you bring your dreams in, my friends, manifesting all of these dreams and desires. Wow, wow, wow. What a huge message. A, a wonderful way to end the week. And uh, just, you know, put some wonderful music on. We have our resident DJ, Cass Hawk. I can thoroughly recommend her music for high vibration. So get boogie in, my friends. Have a boogie night. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.